guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. First and foremost, I do want to address that if I am talking weird at all, it is because I have rubber bands. I got them today actually, and they have been absolute hell for me. They hurt so dang bad. Y no las aguanto para nada. Like, they actually really, really hurt. And I just popped some ibuprofen, and hopefully, it kicks in here soon. Um, but yes, you would have already known that if you saw my last video, but just in case you didn't or in case you knew, then yes, I got rubber bands and I'm talking weird and thank you for clicking my video um, as the title reads I am going to be showing you guys my gym fashion I am one of those people that cannot have a good workout if I don't feel and look good now I know that is a little bit cliche that's a little bit kind of defeating the purpose because you're there to work on yourself but if I don't have a good gym outfit on if I don't feel good like if I'm bloated or something I will not have a good workout and I do not wear makeup to the gym all the time but when I do then I feel even better but when I don't I just deal with it like I really don't care <laughs> if I wear makeup or not to the gym it just depends on what I'm doing throughout the day but I am here to just show you guys the tips and tricks that I do so I can have a good workout at the gym so I can look at it at the gym and so I can feel good at the gym because I don't have the most perfect body I don't have the most perfect stomach legs nothing even though you guys compliment me and tell me that like, you wish you had my legs or something like that I'm still not 100% um, in love with my body so I still have a lot of work to do but it did take me a long time to get myself to go to the gym I go to now which is Gold's Gym because I was like no people that are already fit and beautiful and toned go there and I don't feel like that but but I just realized that I had to make myself confident enough to go so now I go there and it, literally it's fine but here I am to show you guys my tips and tricks again I hope this helps I really really do and thankfully today's video is sponsored by Poshmark if you guys don't know what Poshmark is it is a free app where you can buy and sell fashion and they just added a home button as well so you can sell stationary items home items bedding anything that has to do with your home so that's amazing you can already find cool brands like Victoria's Secret, Pink, you can find Louis Vuitton, you can find Coach, Michael Kors, Adidas, literally like these top name brands for much cheaper prices because um, we don't got like 2k to spend on Louis Vuitton bags. No, but really you guys can find that, you can find makeup as well. You are not allowed to sell used makeup on Poshmark so every makeup piece that you buy is going to be unused and new. Uh, so yeah, just kind of making you guys get a little bit more comfortable on Poshmark. But Poshmark is the easiest way you can go about cleaning your closet because not only are you getting rid of your clothes that are really con in really good condition you are also selling them and making some money like it's a side hustle come on like everybody needs a couple extra bucks so i do sell my things on poshmark and i will be showing you guys a few things that i'm gonna sell and a few being gymshark items of course if you guys know gymshark is literally my go-to leisure wear brand i honestly cannot sit here and tell you that i've tried many other brands dupes or anything like that no i've tried gymshark love gymshark and stuck with gymshark so i'm biased i do not know of any other brands that are as good as Gymshark and I am more than willing to invest in good items because listen they make your butt look so good. like what else do you ask for you know I just take it from me so I'm here to show you some of the items I will be listing on my Poshmark the first the first item being these white leggings from Gymshark. Let me see if they have the name. They don't have it, but these were limited edition leggings, but they are real proof Gymshark right here. These are size medium, just like I am in literally every single Gymshark item. So it's these beautiful leggings. They have the Gymshark logo here too. So I will be selling these. Next, I will be selling this camo shirt. This is actually a men's shirt, and I do purchase all my t-shirts in the men's section of literally any store, unless I'm doing oversized t-shirts that you will see in this video and I get those like at Urban but I will tell you guys about that later um, but yeah this is a men's medium no this is a men's large and I do get everything large I will let you know exactly why in this video but I'm selling this one as well and I have another Gymshark shirt that I will also be selling and it's a men's size uh, large as well so I will be selling those and look this is going to be a sad sell for me one being because I don't love them even though I love the person that made them. 
So Whitney Simmons came out with her limited edition Gymshark apparel and honestly the hype was there and I bought it. I got to get the leggings and the sports bra. Love, love, love the sports bra. I do not love the leggings. Um, but I know a lot of you guys couldn't get your hands on them so I will be selling them for much cheaper. This is the Whitney line and let me just prove it to you. It has Whitney Simmons right there and then it has her slogan, it's a beautiful day to be alive and it has the Gymshark tag just in case you guys don't think they're authentic. I did not buy these on the black market <laughs> um but and that's another item that i would be selling and you will see some dresses on there and you'll see other items of clothing on there as well um but yeah i just love it poshmark because you can get to these luxury brands these big top brands for over 70 percent off and i just think that's amazing but if you guys do end up purchasing anything from my poshmark closet please post it on instagram so i can repost it on my story and show you more love so all you have to do is click the link in my description box download poshmark for free make an account for free and start selling your clothes making big money big bank creating your own little store on poshmark and also if you already do have a closet then go ahead and comment it down below in the comments so we can all shop through each other's closets and mine being julissa soto with three s's and yeah without further ado let's get in to these gym outfits gym tips and tricks how to look and feel good how to just literally how i finesse my way through the gym all right guys i am here to show you my tips and tricks but before that i do want to show you guys my most favorite gymshark leggings and just recommend to you guys the leggings that i wear and listen all i literally wear is black that's all i have black leggings um with the exception of gray flex leggings because if you guys know flex leggings you know that they make your butt look exquisite um, but the reason being here, I literally just washed these and los tiendo en mi, um, en mi sillón, so, because I don't dry them because these are expensive brands that I need to take care of. Um, so the reason that these give you a very, very, very exquisite look is because they have a booty contour. I will be trying all of this on for you guys. So this is the first pair of leggings that I truly, truly, truly recommend because of the booty contour and just the contour all over the legs. So definitely one of my favorite pairs of leggings. Um, I have the same um, leggings but in the color uh, army green I think. Something like that. Now my most favorite leggings that I will forever wear. These actually Campana and I have the same ones. And we have a ton of pictures in them. And you guys always ask me what they are. So these are the Vital Seamless leggings in the color charcoal or black. Um... I used to own them in the color gray, but let me just be honest, I love, love, love the black ones even more. The thing with Gymshark is that all of their waistbands are very, very compressed. So a little tummy that you have, it sucks it in and it makes it look beautiful. So that's why I truly, truly love Gymshark. It's because of how compressed they are and these are seamless, so they don't have a line going through the front, so they won't give you a camel toe. Um, but they do have a line through the back that you can snatch up your butt crack to make the booty look bigger. Um, everybody does this. Literally, every fitness guru does this. So I absolutely love these. All right, the next pair of leggings. Now these are um, another pair that are like my complete, complete favorite ones because um, they truly suck the entire life uh, um, inside of you. Does that even make sense? I don't think so. But they are the uh, Energy Seamless Collection leggings. Of course, I only have them in black. And these have um, quad contour. So they have little holes on your quad that literally just make them pop and just make them look beautiful. I love my quads and I love quad contour. They have a lot of leg contour as well. But the biggest thing is the compression of the waistband this is going to snatch you right up and if you have a little tummy trust you're not gonna have a little tummy with this but if you still have a little tummy with this because i do i'll show you my tips and tricks girl don't even don't even don't even but yeah that's pretty much the top leggings that i definitely recommend now you might be asking well what underwear do you wear none <laughs> so i actually don't wear underwear for the fear of getting a camel toe um except with the flex the flex i do wear thongs like seamless thongs but with all the other seamless ones i wear 
panty liners and I wear them pretty like right on my little coochie area because it literally it covers my entire coochie and it will give me a camel toe so this is definitely um, I recommend I have these on stock on deck I always have panty liners so I don't have camel toe but honestly wearing a thong or not that's your personal preference I just let her breathe is that appropriate to say? I hope so. Now, my biggest, 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 biggest trick and tip. <laughs> the one thing that I swear and live by is oversized t-shirts. I don't care what nobody tells me. I will always wear oversized t-shirts every single day of my life. I don't even care. But anyways, this is the actual key to my gym successes to me feeling confident at the gym and being confident at the gym big t-shirts these um i get at urban outfitters now they are a little bit of an investment but they are going to last me forever so urban outfitters has a plug princess polly has a plug and marshall's has a plug too uh and when i go shop at marshall's for big t-shirts i do shop in the men's section and get extra large because that's just how big i want my t-shirts to be so let me show you guys the t-shirts the that you literally see me wearing every single time look at how big they are and oversized and they have holes on them they're very vintagey very cool looking um so i wear these now the thing that i do the trick that saves me that makes me feel like i am a bad b at the gym and can't nobody tell me different is i tuck the t-shirt look i'll show you here but i'll show you in a video too I'll, i do this with t-shirts sweaters everything i tuck the t-shirt into my bra from the back okay i put it like that so you can see it tucked right here and then i don't tuck it in from the front because why that's going to cover the tummy you're gonna see a big booty no tummy can you just tell me like that is not the most smartest thing i've ever said in my life <laughs> so that is what i do literally the biggest most best trick i have to tuck your t-shirts from the back your t-shirt sweaters tuck them from the back leave them untucked from the front because then you can't see your tummy but you can see your big old booty and it honestly tucking it does give the illusion of a bigger butt can't nobody tell me different nobody don't even try don't even try don't even stop typing that comment you can't tell me different um so yeah that is my recommendation on t-shirts quote me on that like literally put my name on that i swear by it but also when i run out of my oversized t-shirts i wear my oversized hoodies oversized crew necks and it's just it's that simple honestly that simple now moving on to your feetsies uh, another big tip i have that is also it can and cannot be an investment is wearing nice kicks that is like for sure, one of my favorite things, um, going to the gym actually is what got me into buying really cool kicks. So, basically for leg day, um, you I do need a flat surface so I can squat, so I can do just like all my leg things. Uh, so I just wear Converse, these chucks. It, honestly, I have the chucks in every color and I just wear these. But my white ones are the ones I get the most wear. I don't think you can tell, I think they look pretty clean. Uh, but yes, chucks for sure, leg day, chucks, that's it, or any flat surface shoe. Now, I also have shoes that are cool, but that are also comfortable to run in, and these are my most worn, most favorite shoes in the world right now. They just look, make it, my feet look so cool and are such an accent to my entire gym outfit. Um, I don't know the name of these but it, um, I am going to look for them, put it on the screen and put it in the description box. These are actually comfortable to lift in and comfortable to run in. And I did size down half a size for these because um, si están amplios. And another shoe that I got a lot of wear in and that you guys asked a lot about are my Adidas Young Chasm 97. I think it's 97. Again, I'll have them down below as well. But these, of course got a lot of wear and they are chunky my thing is big chunky sneakers i just love the way they make my feet look like for some reason i have this weird thing about loving my feet to look bigger than they are 
I don't know but I freaking love these shoes so so much of course you can tell because I got um good wear on them and then for um arm day like days that I don't that I'm not doing cardio days that are like just arms upper body solely like that are just upper body period I wear cool chunky sneakers that you cannot do cardio comfortably in okay but they look cool okay I just my thing is that I love to look good at the gym not for anybody else but for myself for me to have a good workout okay please don't judge me but um yes these are my favorite shoes to wear on arm day um these are just winter smith shoes that i can also link for you guys they are so dang cool and chunky and beautiful this is the style that i love oversized t-shirts tight bottoms chunky shoes but nothing puts my outfit together more than socks and i very very rarely wear low low cut socks very very rarely my go-to socks are big socks that you can see outside of the shoe and that you can kind of scrunch up and gives you that like cool vibey vibey vintagey look and you just are there to good work out a good sweat in so i literally just buy these from fruit of the loom in the guy section at walmart in bulk for 12 dollars and i get like 20 pairs so definitely 10 out of 10 would recommend to wear this and this is if you guys want to pursue the style that i go for at the gym i have a lot of friends that could not care less about what they were to the gym they will still have an amazing workout me on the other hand since i'm not happy with my body at all whatsoever i am literally going to make myself feel confident enough to have a good workout at the gym so by that i just have to put effort into looking good feeling good and you know just a little bit more effort um, and that just brings my confidence level up so, so much. Now, for hair. Ponytails will look better when they are straight or, or curled. But honestly, I usually just throw my hair in a low bun like this. And I'll take some pieces out. I'll make very, very messy buns. Do I'll do that. And then I will also put it in a very messy high top bun like that. I'll put pieces out. Or I will wear a hat. Or I will wear advanced like this. And then I do like a ponytail, a very high ponytail, a very high bun, just sweatbands, just to make you look like you're there and you know what you're there for. Yeah, honestly guys, that's literally my tips and tricks to make you look and feel confident at the gym. I know that we all need this, um, but if you don't, then all the props to you, honestly, but this is how i feel confident at the gym. This is how i get myself to go to the gym. If i don't have a cute outfit on, if i don't feel good, and think that I look good, I will not go to the gym. So, yes, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys liked my little gym outfit ideas because that's essentially what this was. I hope you guys liked this video overall. And again, don't forget, I will be selling quite a few things on my Poshmark closet. Comment your closet down below and let us know what you're selling on there so we have a little bit of a preview before going to your closet. But yes, again, thank you to Poshmark for sponsoring this video. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to download the app for free with one click in the description box. And yeah, thank you so much for watching i love you so much i appreciate you so so much and i will see you in my next video but until then please always remember god goes glowing and growing